right, so we are going pre-recorded, but live for us um, as far as um, uh, part two of our discussion from yesterday. So first I want to say I apologize to the audience and to you ladies because um, we, we started talking before you know the podcast and we were all excited about meeting basically like for the first time at least i was i felt like nostalgia um because yeah. you know what i mean because I, I and and not to and not to act like fandom but um i knew about the case before obviously i met you guys so i was really infatuated with the whole the whole situation just like all of america and the world so when you guys came yeah. on yesterday and it was like last minute notice it was like, oh, my God, oh, my God. And we were, like, scrambling to get the podcast up and everything. So today I <laughs> want to do it more more uniform so that way the audience can digest what we're doing and whatever. Um, I really don't want to go over, unless you want to talk about yesterday, but um, I know this morning that you reached out to me because of the the, um, the sentencing that's happening. Yeah. Okay. And and you had a chance to watch it. I know, I know Corey – was upset about it because of what was going on as far as the empathy for the uh, victims. But um, how, for, for you, Erica, I understand that you have something that you want to say. I do. Um, I'm thinking I wanted to go to his sentencing today, but I did not. But I just told Miss Corey, I said, I will pay for an Uber to go out there tomorrow. I, I have words to say to Daryl. I feel like I'm not done. I want to look him in his face because he's been rolling his eyes at victim's parents, the little, ba the little boy that, you know, passed away, rolling his eyes, holding his chest, making this little acting stuff. And I feel like I have a lot to say to him. A lot. I have a lot of anger and I need words to say to him because he acts like this is just a joke, a fucking joke or something. Rolling your eyes at victims, people speaking against you. Really? So you, it's like, I don't know. I'm a, you, um, the detective asked me, did I want to speak today? But I did not, I was not ready today. So I did not want to see Daryl. But I, I most likely will tomorrow. I will let you know, just in case, if I do not or do it. But I feel like I have words to say. Miss Corey, she has words to say to him also. It's like, you know, it's just the fact of seeing him again. Now, will the, now with that being said, will they let Corey give an impact statement, or is she on the list to be able to do so, or because of how she was connected? She's not. No, I'm on okay. the list, but she's not. That's the thing. I'm on the list, though. I am. So, but Corey will be there for support to stand next to you at the pew while you talk. Yes. So I, yes. So at the end of the day, I will let you know if I am going to for sure go. It's, I you, know I, so, yeah. you know me. I, I'm. I'm. I'm oh, go ahead. Um, um, right now I'm messaging my man, letting him know that I'm talking, talking on, on a broadcast right now. So I'm telling him that I'm not right. I'm not good right now. So gotcha. I'm messaging. So if it looks like I'm being sketchy, I'm not. I promise. Yeah, Corey, you are the, uh, the, the, uh, like I said before, you are the X Men to uh, uh, guardian of, of Erica as far That's as we're concerned. I, I, I said, girl, it wasn't for you. I don't I said, feel like I, it. I called her. Like you, you came. I don't feel like you it. You hit Daryl in the face. Then you rushed and came there. <laughs> Instinct. That's a Sorry. that's a hero. That's a hero in her. I just don't feel like it. It was like I'm having my problems right now. It was like because of all this fucking trial. It's like literally I it's like uh, her just watching it earlier and the stuff that Daryl's doing and not just honestly, actually giving it. Honestly, trial I don't know what I would do if I was to lose her because I lost the best friend before this whole shit happened. It triggered triggered me. It's so fucking hard. Mm. It fucking okay. triggered me. You got a cupcake? No, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to calm her down. I'm, no. I'm trying to calm her down. I'm sorry. No, <laughs> no. you're good. This is natural. You got. I don't like her upset. 
upset. I don't like her upset, and she knows I'm gonna calm her down. So I mean, honestly, I'm glad she's all right, but I'm sorry for the loss of everybody else's children and grandparents. And Daryl doesn't care, right? And his mother keeps making these. Let me not. You know what? Missing on me. You know I'm gonna get on her ass. So, <laughs> so did you see the part? Hey, I, am. <laughs> I am too. You know, I'm gonna get on her. I, I already know. know. But you know me. I, I got, I got, she got proof because I'm her proof. Like, got lying, saying I'm not really a student. I had pictures, like I told you guys. I got all my proof of everything. Right. What did you guys think about the part where he was said he was taking notes and wanted the age of the minor child statement that was read? Did you guys see that part? I don't know. I didn't see that I part. Oh, we're going to have to rewatch part. it. I got the guy in the blue yeah, shirt. Yeah, we got to the guy in the part with shirt. the long hair with his mother. I think next to him with the blue shirt is the part we got to. Oh, the baseball yeah. player. Yeah, with the yeah, mother getting her statement part. first. That one that really, that one that I yeah. really cried along with Baby Jackson. Yeah, yeah. I, you saw me when we first got on. We had to like take a pause because I was all red and stuff and all yeah. puffy face. Because yeah, I, I I couldn't finish watching it because it was just too morbid and. So I had to go get in the shower, and I was like, oh, and, and then when you called, I was like, yeah, let's do the podcast, because I got to focus on something else. Yeah. But yeah, I, I do appreciate you guys it's coming on. Um, as far as, um, Erica, as far as your statement, is this something that you're just going to mm -hmm. do as a freestyle, or is this something that you're going to write out? No, if I do decide to go tomorrow, which most likely I am, I'm going to speak it, not write it out. I want to Say what I have to say and look him dead in his eyes like I did the last two testimonies. I want to look him in his face. Gotcha. So, so just, just, oh, I'm go ahead. trying to do that. <laughs> gotcha. I'm trying so, to. I just I think of what I want to say. Sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, I didn't mean I, I thought you were done. My, my fault. Just to let you know that if you do write it down, I did see on there that they have somebody, if you get too emotional and you can't finish what your written statement is there's somebody that can actually come in and read it for you, you know, while you collect yourself um, so that, that, you know, so they can get on to the next person. But um, if you can do a freestyle all the way to the end and close it out, girl, you are going to be a goddess. <laughs> you already are, you know, you but know, you are going to be epic in history. You know, the last two uh, testimonies, I looked in dead in his face and was talking. You, you already seen how it was the last two times. This time, I really, I feel like I know he's going to go away for the rest of his life, and I want him to feel the pain that everybody in the world is feeling right now. I want him to feel it, and that's what I'm trying to think of what I want to say. I might, I'm might, i a pre-writer today if I do end up going, but I want to say it, you know, directly to him. Well, what you can do that's also is you, you can make, like, bullet points on what you want to discuss, like, if you want to topic it out like you want to discuss a little bit about the past and you know a, a little bit of uh you know however you want to lay it out but just have some words on a paper to remind you how to stay on track about your point you want to make yeah, so i'm gonna figure it out i just i just know i want him to feel pain not pain but i want him to feel what everybody else is feeling and i want him to fucking feel what he did to people you know it's not right and the mother situation, I guess I'll, we'll talk about that whenever, but with her, mm -mm. Well, we, well, I don't like if, I don't. you already announced to the world what you're about to do, so did, did you want to talk about Dawn now, or did you want to do that another time? Or? We can do it now. We can, you, oh, you know we could do it now. Yes. I'm so, sorry. I don't like her lying on me. No, you're good. So I, one question I did have before we got into it, um, did you get the email I sent you in regards to the counselor of, in Texas? Did you get a chance to look at it? You don't have to do it now, but I was just asking. Okay. She yeah. didn't respond to me. That's fine. Um, I just want to let you know that I did reach out to her and by email um, and let her know that I did forward the message she requested. And I tried to call her, but she didn't answer or, or anything like that because I did have some questions for her on your behalf. You know what I mean? Because I know once you get okay. into the program, once you get into a program, you're you're pro you're you're going to be communication is going to be really hard because you're going to be in the program, you know, to recover. So um, I wanted to try to um, 
make sure that it was set up and that the lady actually was legit and everything. So I, I just wanted to ask some questions before you got involved with her. Cause um, I know that when you're done talking with her, you're going to obviously ask me what to do or, you know, or at least give my idea or whatever. Um, so I, 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 I looked her up. She looks legit. Um, I did send you also pictures of her, her resume. I'm sorry. Can she be excused? Oh no no you don't have to ask if you gotta go go. I was go. raising my hand. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I don't fine, know Corey. what to do. No, All Corey, right, well, fine. I'll be right back. No worries. Right. No worries. Okay, so, but anyways, with the program um, situation, yeah. yes. So that's fine. Um totally fine. Like I said, um the guards on her, like I just want the proof out when it comes to her also, because you know, like I said. She lied, said I wasn't really a CNA, and I have all the proof, I got all the pictures for that. So, and it's like, just all the lies, and it's like, her, regardless, I know Daryl is her son, but regardless, don't lie on me, because she's seen me about five times in the last, in the last month. She's walked by me and didn't say, well, I don't talk to her, she don't talk to me. I've seen her, but we don't talk, you know? Don't yeah. sit here and lie on me. I don't bother her. I haven't talked to her since her son been arrested in the first place. Don't sit here and, and lie on me. I have proof of all my stuff, honey. Now, as so, far as the as far as the CNA, I know there was some questions and comments in, in you know in the comment section um, that were you know yeah. up and down. But I think I, I'm going off memory. I apologize. I didn't I didn't have time to go through all of the and write them all out, but. Um, as far as one of the comments that I recall, they had said something about with your CNA um, certificate. Is it a certificate or do you have, it's a CNA, so it's a certificate, certified nursing assistant, right? I graduated from mine in February 2020. I, I'm going to send you the picture so you can post no, it no, for me. I, I'm gonna see that's cool. That's cool. I, what I'm trying yeah. to figure out, was it like a, a two-year degree where you had to get like an associate's or was it a certification in six months or what? what, what a certification. What, it's okay, okay, but I've had it for three years. So it gotcha, was like gotcha. a certificate, like license. Like I've been working at my at CNA out here also. Gotcha. I've been out here. I work at Kings and so I have proof of all this. I will send you the pictures and everything so you can see. I have proof. So I Miss Dawn is lying. And yes. I already speaking to one other person. So I mean <laughs> I don't have to lie about anything. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I got I got wind of what happened yesterday as far as Don and Mariah's back and forth. You know when yeah, when she was talking to Mariah, she keeps just sticking up for her son, and it's like, okay, so you're not gonna lie on me. I'm gonna make sure I clear my name up. <laughs> exactly. Um, as far she, as she uh, when her dad was oh, sorry. I, I go ahead. What were you saying? We're, we're on a delay, no, so it's hard. We're, there's a delay because we're for some reason. So there's like a two second delay, so it's hard to tell when you when you start and stop. <laughs> You're good. No, yeah, well, I, she knew when her son was fighting me all the time. She knew all that. She knew all this stuff. Just like I said, when he ran me over November second, she bailed him out like what a week later or whatever, and said he did not intentionally mean to run me over. Then he killed all these people and. Um, hurt people, and then she's saying he did not intentionally do it. Like, come, how many more excuses are you gonna make? Come on. Now, with that that topic, um, as you already know, and I know we discussed it a little bit off camera uh, yesterday. Um, uh, you were upset about them bringing up mental illness. Have you ever known any mental illness in his family no. or him? No. He never went to a psychiatrist not or to No. No, not at all. So, she is so, making excuses for him. So as far as you know, when she was online or on air or whatever, and she was talking about his medication, there's no medication that you're aware of that he took? Mr. Norman, I've known him since I was 15. That boy has never taken medication in his life. As far as his drug use, uh, what kind of you know drugs did he do? Uh, ecstasy pills. That's what he did do. That and weed, mar marijuana. He did mm -hmm. that. Yes. Oh, so when he went as on that two thousand. 
so when he went on that 2007 dare video, he was basically just trying to be on it so he can get out of his cell and lie or what? what, what Cause he was yes. trying to say something about being Mariah, on that. Right. Miss Mariah told me about the interview. I said, when the hell was he on that? When? Wow. Dale, once he got it, he's, he's a rapper out here in Milwaukee. He just wants the fucking attention. He wants that limelight. He just wants to get the fucking limelight on him. Because that interview from 2007, I didn't know about until Mariah told me about the shit. And mm -hmm. sent me the, the, you know, the leak. Dale, when I knew him, he was never on no damn mess. I know he takes XP pills and marijuana and alcohol. Gotcha. And, and for the audience, for the Lies too much. Well, you don't have to do it. Just uh, no, no, no. I'm good. You're good. And for the audience, just so the audience knows, um, Mariah is an affiliate of the Norman Nick show, and she's kind of like a, a makeshift liaison that helps me bridge to my content. So she was, um, Mariah was the one that was able to get in contact not only with Erica, but she got in contact also with Don's party and one of the other people that were in her camp that's going to the sentencing for Daryl or whatever, his best friend. But um, they, she's, she, I, I'm, and not to divide my camp because we, we try to be non-biased as much as we can as far as facts go. We are opinionated about what we find, but as far as giving out the content, we don't try to hide anything. So we, we expose it all so everybody can see it. So she's handling the angle more or less as far as Don, because I'm I'm Team Erica, and I've seen too much in the background to to try to, <laughs> no. inter I I, to, I could not never interview Don without eating her alive. You know what I mean? I would I would I would lose credibility. Well, I, want her. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I, I I mean, my audience would hate me because they would just see me tear this old woman up, and I I would I would be a villain for the rest of my life because I would I would just eat her alive on an interview, but um. I would have her cry. Actually, she would probably hang up and, and leave. But um, what I would like to do, if she is interested in coming on here to give her side of the story, I wouldn't put you two against each other. It, uh, it would be awesome and it would make a lot of money, but I would never set you up to you know do anything because I know that she would sabotage and throw out a whole bunch of stuff and have proofs and just, to, you know, you know, just, you know, as far as you and what you're trying to do. Um, um, as far as her coming on the podcast, if she did want to talk and be on the Norman Nick show because of the audience and on all the eyes, um, I would let Mariah or one of my other, you know, uh, somebody else in my circle interview her, uh, maybe Joey or Santos or something like that interview her. But myself, I wouldn't be able to interview her um, and, and be professional. Um, um, but as far <laughs> and, and that's and that, I just had to get that out there. Um, but if Don, that's if, true. Don, if you did want to come on the show to give your side of the story and present whatever evidence you think you have as to whatever narrative you're trying to 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 exploit, um, I will make a time for you and you I will let your voice be heard. Um, just be aware that there are consequences for your actions. So whatever receipts you bring on my show, they better be legit, because if you come on here with just. Yeah emails with um, letterheads, official letterheads and no substance, right. trying to accuse Erica of something. She can bring whatever she, mm -hmm. she can bring whatever she want to bring because number one, I got all my proof of everything. She just want to stick up for her son. That's what she want to do. Just like, she don't care that he even kill these people. She's still making excuses for him. So no, she can come in your show. I'm not going to get mad at you at all or your fans or anything like that because you know what? I'm always having my proof back against her ass. So it don't matter. <laughs> that's what that's my whole thing. You can say whatever you want, but hey, when push comes you know, to shove and you want details, you're gonna see the details. Yeah. So Honestly, with, with that, living proof right here too. She said living proof right here. Yeah, proof right here. I got I got all my proof. I got paperwork though and mm -hmm. pictures and everything else on my phone. So Dawn wants to sit here and do this. Like I said, she can do it. You don't gotta put us together. I mean, you could because you know me. I'm not. I'm trying to clear my name because they're making me seem like. Daryl's going to kill people, not me. So why is all this getting brought on me? You know, mm -hmm. why? Well, I, I don't. Th I don't think I would bring you two on the show together unless Don 
could grow up a, a mature a little bit, at least accept responsibility for some part of what happened, because it seems like she's right. just projecting everything, just like Daryl does. It's obviously right. learned behavior, but there's like no accountability, right. no responsibility, no saying, you know what? I could have been a better mother. I agree with you, but moving forward, let's focus on the victims. You know what I mean? Instead of just trying to do it's, it, and I'm not trying to sound callous, but in my impression of the trial and her, um, and I don't know if my viewers agree or not, but it seems like immediately as something, as soon as something happened because of her lack of articulation, she ran to the church or ran to, you know, spirituality yeah. as a defense for her. And hurry up and sent out, you know, letters to the victims and stuff, which, which is uh, on its own is good. You know what I mean? But it shows that she did have some kind of guilt, but to get on there after sending impact letters and saying, well, it's not Daryl's fault or Daryl's got these excuses or whatever, instead of just saying, yo, I don't know what happened. I raised him the best I could, whatever he did in the streets after that, I can't account for. I try to help him and I failed. But here, here's here's what I want to do moving forward. But. I had no problem with his mother in the first place. She did all this. I don't have a problem with you, lady. I don't even talk to you. Like I said, I keep seeing her. I be when I was walking around, I've seen her a couple times, and she never said anything to me. I don't think you know. I don't have a problem with her. So why are you seeing her just because you're a son? You're being negative. I'm not that kind of person. I have and a whole child by your side. Facts and just and just a grandchild. Clear, and a grandchild, and, and a absolutely. But as far as um, um, mm -hmm. it, uh, just to clear it up for the audience, in case they didn't see it yesterday, because we were kind of all over all over the map yesterday, all excited. Um, as far as yeah. um, um, what was I going to say? Um, I just had it right there too. It was um, it was about Dawn. Right. Right? <laughs> no, you're fine. I just had a brain fart all of a sudden, but it was concerning Don about, oh, that's what it was. So for those who watched yesterday, because we were all over the map, um, Erica never met Don out all this time until right there before the, the uh, incident that happened. Um, Erica, if you want to yep. just reiterate that part and explain so people understand, because I saw a lot of questions in the comments, like, well, why did she go to, why did she go out there? Why did, you know? Okay, so yes, I did meet Daryl in Reno, Nevada, and then um, I had moved to Atlanta, you know, and um, with that being said, I had moved Daryl back out there to Atlanta around 2021. I don't remember the exact date, but I had moved him out there because he was writing me, messaging me, saying yeah, he wants to be in his child's life. Me and Daryl were off and on. We were always talking. We were off and on for the 16 years. So I've never met his mother. No, I've talked to her on the phone. Only person I knew was Michelle Allworth, his best friend. Only person I knew. I never met this grandma that wants to talk. I never met his mother. None of this stuff. He asked me to come out here to meet his mother for two weeks and never let me go back. I came out here, left our trial and my other kids out there. Came out here to Milwaukee for two weeks. He was beating my ass. And Miss Dawn knows that shit because she was there when he was making excuses for men. That was my first time meeting Miss Dawn when I moved out here. We only had a phone conversation. Did you see the support in the comments after yesterday's video? No, I have not looked at the comments. So some of the support, support was there, really good. You saw I well, I know you I know you I, I know Corey kind they of there. for you. Go ahead, Corey. I'm sorry. They loved Erica. It was like, um, Erica, um, I support you. Um, I bless you. No, I hope you have many blessings. I didn't look at them because stuff. I refuse to look at comments because I don't want to see here. Me, I care what people say about me. And I cannot take negative comments, so I don't look at no comments. There, no was, there is no negative She looks comments. at them, but I don't. I know. I'm saying I don't look at comments. You do. Yeah. I don't look at them. That's no cool. comments or anything. That's all right. Yeah. So That's what I time. what I try to do is YouTube is pretty good at 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 screening the bad ones or whatever. Um, but I do let some of the controversial questions come through if they're you know if they're intelligent and and thoughtful and not just derogatory and mean. You know what I mean? So if you do see some yeah. on there, 
either I missed them. If they're derogatory, I missed it. Some of me and YouTube missed it. But if they are constructive criticism or constructive concerns, you know what I mean? Because they missed part of the story. I did hard it and like yeah. it or whatever, acknowledging that I read the message. But if I didn't reply, it just means I either I didn't want to respond or retort on it, or I would just, just needed to let them know I read your message. You know what I mean? I you weren't ignored. Um, but as far as um, yeah. as far as their that, own opinion, comments and stuff, you know, and it's like I do understand that. I just me and myself, I don't want to see them. So I don't. I won't look on your page or your comments. That's not me. I'm not looking at no comments. Gotcha. I'm, gotcha. I get too emotional too fast. I, I get too emotional too fast. So she so, looks at them and tells me about them. I don't want to hear that shit. As far as the audience, um, they were, um, as far as your recovery, um, have you uh, decided or made a plan on where you want to do your recovery at, if, whether in Georgia near the kids or, you know, some other place or do you want to stay there with, you know, with your friends and, and try to make it work and get the kids after you you heal yourself or? Uh, Georgia with my kids, most likely, or the place in Texas, because I know I, I, I can get my place together with counseling and stuff in Texas also. And, you know, or I can do that Atlanta. I can do either one. I just need to get myself together. I need to, I need to have counseling, a therapist. I need to, have, you know, I was drinking a lot. I don't lie. I'm not, I still am drinking. Like, not right now. I'm saying like in general, you know, I need to mm -hmm. get the help I need. And I need to get myself back on my feet like I was before all this. And that's what I want to do. And I will prove that. I can sit here and still do that and go day by day and do a daily thing with you guys and show you guys that I'm in recovery. I mean, they probably won't get my phone, but I could prove yeah, it, and, you know? And I, I wouldn't want to put that pressure on you to feel like you had to prove to us. Because again, like I said yesterday, and I've said before off camera, you don't owe us anything. This right here is a blessing. You know what I mean? You don't owe anybody an explanation. But um, as far as you checking in, if you did want to come in, you know, once a month, once a week to say, hey, I'm on a break. I've made my sobriety on six months or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Or I'm about I'm on my I'm on my 11th step in the 12 step program or however it works out. Um, um, we just want to be able to know that supporting you is an, an investment and it's not just an investment of, of money but it's an investment in America to show that it is, you're able to bounce back and everybody, no matter what you're raised, if you're gay, straight, woman, man, everybody deserves to have a second chance. I don't necessarily agree Honestly, in a third, fourth, fifth I chance. Need help. Yeah, but a Honestly, second I chance. Need the help. Yeah. yeah, I need it. I need the help. And I feel like I need to get myself together. I don't care if it takes all this stuff that I do, I want my, to get myself together because it's a lot and I can't handle it day by day like this. So, and I'm not in denial. I need the help. I want to stop drinking. I want counseling. I want therapy. I want all this and I will do it. I need it. And I'm not in denial. I need it. Point like, I don't want to do it, but I, I need to do it to better myself for my kids. You know, it's going to hurt. Like, you know, I need the help, Norman. I need the help. So let me and ask you this, I want. If, if we were able to, because this idea was thrown around in my inner circle, not, not online or anything, but in my inner circle, we were trying to figure out if we were able to get a GoFundMe or whatever, whatever donation in, in any capacity. They have a help. GoFundMe on my Facebook, Norman, I don't know, on my Facebook, my friend Cherie, she made a GoFundMe for me. She, I've known her since third grade. She no, made you're good. She's like 400 I'm talking yes. about like one. That's, I'm talking about one that's affiliated with us, as far as the Norman Nick show, the audience, and everybody keeping track and and interested in your progress and investing and and making sure that you get your kids and everything else. My question was: we were throwing around the idea of how we would be able to open up that GoFundMe account so that not necessarily we could tr keep track of it and give you an allowance or anything like that, because we don't want to set you up for failure and and just saying hey she needs help and trying to make it look all glitz and glamour like we're just trying to do it for publicity or money or whatever and then we just give you this money and we sabotage you in some kind of way because and i'm and, and i'm speaking to you like big brother right now you know not with the case but being a paralegal a former paralegal in the financial industry there's different levels of education on how people know how to handle money um, not everybody is responsible when it comes to money, especially when they get a large denomination. 
So we were trying to figure out not only how I, well, eventually me and you are going to be able to, I'm going to, I'm going to basically, I'm doing big brother. I'm going to teach you credit and everything that I know. I'm going to, I'm going to make sure you set up for success. But when you're ready to get a place, we want to make sure that we can use the funds that we got through our audience and our supporters. And we want to see if we can use, make sure that the audience knows that fund is going to either put you into a, like an in-house rehab, if that's what you're trying to do of your choice of where you want to go, or that way we can do a, a research on where you, because we're really interested as far as the Norman Nix show and investing in your future, because we've kind of, for lack of a better word, we've kind of attached ourselves to you right now with the story. Um, it, it wasn't intentional. It just kind of worked out that way. And I'm just riding the wave and I'm just being openly honest, but I, I see yeah, this I as a blessing like and this opportunity not. doesn't come all the time. So basically what we were trying in a nutshell, what we were trying to do is figure out how we can make sure that the GoFundMe was exclusive for you, not for the Norman Nick show, but so that you didn't have access to it on a spur of the moment to make a, a, a unwise decision. You know what I mean? Because I don't, of, I don't of a slip want on your sobriety. I want you guys to control it for me. Honestly, I don't need to have the money. I don't want the money. I want you guys to save it for me. Like right now, like I lost my license, my Georgia license. I have a whole license. I lost that like probably a couple weeks ago. And then Daryl ripped up my damn birth certificate and my damn social security card. All this stuff. I have all this in my phone, copies of it. But he ripped all my shit up. So it's like I have to order a freaking um, birth certificate on vital records. I got uh, get a social. I gotta. I can't get a, a ID out here in the first place without a second for my identification. It's like. Have you talked to the detectives I, at all about recovering your your IDs and stuff for free? Yeah, I mean, because you've been helping me. I I can order it right now, which I need to do anyway. I just haven't done it yet, so I can order it. I can do it okay. right now. I'm and would it be able to? The would they be able to? Nowhere. Would they be able to send it to Corey to make sure it was safe so it didn't? get lost at the, at the shelter or anything? Yeah, they get. Okay, so, so uh, why don't we do this? Why don't we do this? Let's do this for the audience and, and just so that everything is out in the open and everybody feels comfortable supporting you and we can, not not only not only that, it will a snowball effect. What I wanna do is I wanna do what, the reason why I'm successful with my kids as far as raising them and being a parent, and I'm, I'm not trying to be braggadocious, is because when I was in school, I learned something called positive and negative reinforcement. And it's like a reward system. So what I wanted to do is that I wanted to get progress reports basically on where you're at with you or if you decide to go to Texas or wherever it is that you decide to go, we get a, a progress report and we can and we reward out of that fund based on your recovery. So once you hit your, let's say you do in-house therapy or recovery, and once you graduate and are able to get out of there, we wanna be able to have a pot available to you so that way you don't have to go back to a shelter and try to figure it out. You already have the money there because you spent the time where you should have been working getting better. And that reward for your recovery will be waiting for you so we can transition you into housing, whether it's an apartment or a trailer or whatever it is that you need that's near your new employment. And as we go, we'll just start, you know, releasing funds, we'll open an account for you and, and do what we need to do. But what I need to do on my end, because this will this is new territory for me, I would have to find an advisor that can be neutral to make sure that all the funds are kept track of, not publicly, but kept track of that way on taxes and everything like that, or any legal issues happen, we can produce receipts to say no. There's nobody extorting. There's okay. no, you know, funny business. This is what we're doing, and right. it's all out in the open. And I kind of want to lead the right. example on my channel, so other people can kind of clone what I'm doing if they're really about mm -hmm. advocacy and helping other people. So that that's okay. my goal. So so basically, in a nutshell, I don't want to start to GoFundMe until you're in counseling, and then once you're in a treatment center, then we then we. Then yeah. we start the ball rolling, but I don't want to do a GoFundMe now because we're, you know, amped up on, you know, on Daryl's trial or whatever. You know what I mean? So, and I, I respect again, that. I respect that. I respect that. You know, I what? want to set you That's up to sell. I want to set you up for success, little <laughs> Smith. So, I know. That's all yeah, I will show you guys. Like, I can do it, and I know. I respect that. I respect that a lot. You saying that you never. One thing about you, 
because I've been talking to you, you never sugarcoat anything, and you know what, you only want the best for me, and that is, that's right. Don't do that when I get into treatment, you know, and that's what it is. That's what I need to do, and that's what I want to do, because right now, I'm like, I can't, it's too much, it's too much, it's too much. I want to, I got to finish watching. I gotta finish watching this trial. Not right now. I'm not rushing. I'm saying that I'm gonna finish yeah. watching it, but I was watching it earlier, and I stopped. I forgot what minute I stopped off on. But I know it's five hours long. Time, but the fact that he has no remorse and no feelings, it's it's fucking with me. It's fucking with me because I have a lot to say, and that's what I'm saying. I want to go tomorrow. If I have to pay for an Uber and go to the court, I'm going to do it. I need to say what I have to say. He's 40 years old, and I've known him since I was, a, since I was 15. I'm 32. I have more words to say to him, you know? And I feel like I need to do that to get closure. I, I feel like I need to do it. I'm so, I, I need to. I got. I need to have closure on him. I'm not promising you. Like I told you, I'll tell you if I'm going tomorrow or not. But so, so let's do this. Um, if, if you need help, if this is something that you think you need in order to move on I, I you know me i'm gonna support you 100 percent. so after we get off the phone go uh go on uh you know go on um dial a ride or whatever you're gonna use to get there as far as your transportation let me know how much it costs so that way i can go ahead and cash out you the amount that way you know you i can make sure you get there if that's what you want to do because i don't want there to be any hiccups to not get you to where you want to go and an Uber ride shouldn't be any more than like 20 bucks or whatever. You know, I'm, I don't, I don't think you're that far. I don't think your, your area is that big, but just, just I, let I, me know. I'm from Waukesha. I'm an hour and 20 minutes away from uh, right now. Cause Corey lives in Janesville. I'm in Janesville, Milwaukee now at her house. Um, okay. The shelter was in Waukesha, the shelter was in Waukesha, which is which, um, where I was just at, where this trial and stuff is going on. But I'm an hour and 20 minutes. From the, well, not an hour and 20 minutes, but it's like, Less than that, but no. Have I you think taken I an Uber before? Need... Have not you taken an Uber now, before? But yeah, I have it on okay. my on my phone. I have Uber. No, no, no. I mean, as far as from it. the shelter to from the from the courthouse or the shelter to where you're at now, and have a yeah. guesstimation on how much it costs. Not from over here, but the shelter, okay. Lily. The shelter, Lily, was two block where I was staying. Is Lily two blocks from where Daryl killed people at? Okay. It's right there. I, I saw. I saw it um, when I watched the trial before me and you interacted. Um, my skip yeah. tracing in the trial, they were talking about the women's shelter. They wouldn't name it, it's but right I, it wasn't there. hard to Google. It wasn't hard to Google. I showed it on the video. I didn't. I didn't give the the address. I just showed the location and how close it was because they obviously showed it on the on the courthouse. But yeah, I I saw that you were like minutes away from the parade, and that's how that all happened. So, yeah. but no, but, um, I'm, I'm right now. I'm gonna let you know because you know you're like my big brother, and I appreciate you and all the help you and everybody has done for me. Like I said, I will let you know. I'm actually. I'm, I really might just go tomorrow and just face him because I need to face him. I need to face him. I have too much to say to him. I have a lot to say to him. So I might break decide, down crying if I go. But, I mean, Daryl. We will support you 100%. Believe me. Us, the, the, the channel and the audience will support you 100%. A lot of people wanted to see you go. Basically, everybody in the chat, so you know, they, they wanted to, wanted you to do what you feel you needed to do. If you felt you were done and you were and you wanted to close it out and, and walk away from this chapter, we, we're ready to watch and help and support you walk away from Daryl 100%. But if you feel you need this last to raw to bring closure, I don't blame you. And, and, that, and what's cool about it is you're actually going to get the last word. <laughs> I'm glad you're right. This is the fact that he did all this and hurt people and killed people is just, I got some words to say to him. It's not, and the words I'm going to say to him is not even about me. I just want him to feel everybody's pain because when he rolled his eyes, like I said, after the little baby, the eight-year-old that he killed, after his mother talked and Daryl rolled his eyes, oh, I got some words for his ass. And that's why I feel like I need to go. It's not right. 
if you see the uh, comments on the the trial, I, I don't. Even, I'm gonna watch the rest of it, so you're not even gonna hear from me. But I'm gonna watch the rest of it because I, I don't even want to know. I'm, I think. I'm gonna watch I think what. I think what I want to do too, sorry to cut you off. What I think I want to do too to help you out is I'm going to, on my end, I'm going to research some of my resources to see if we can try to get you some kind of like legal representation um, when it comes to restitution. Um, because I'm understanding he has an outstanding child support that he owes. Um, and he's been making you basically do it on your own all the time, um, you know, with, with his child, despite you having a second baby daddy and two other kids and I, and I'm not going to expose and get into that. Um, cause that's not the focus, but, um, the kids yeah. are taken care of. They're not foster care. They're with your family and, and we don't have to go through all that either. But, um, just so the audience knows, because people were in there saying negative things because of Don, you know, cause Don is obviously reaching out to whoever she can. Yeah, his mother is the one sitting here uh, trying to sing and sell this stuff. This is what I'm telling you. No, so, I want to, this you go ahead. I'm go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you know, I just I stopped myself. I just don't know. I like his mother. I want to expose her. I want to show proof of everything. Oh yeah, I still have seen that doctor's no thing too. But I'm gonna show you all my CNA stuff. Uh, everything, everything Don is saying, I have proof of every fucking thing. Literally, no I'm no tired of her. I don't blame you. Um, but as far as you getting restitution, what I was going to say is his music. Apparently, he does have a fan base as far as his music and whatnot. And I did research that last night after we got off the podcast. So I'm want to try. I want to try to see if we can get through legal representation, so we can try to follow a paper trail to see if there is some kind of resources that no, the courts haven't found, maybe, and they'll probably beat me to it. But that we can claim for you and your daughter. So that way we can get this back child support caught up based on whatever, whatever he produces that people like that is bringing in some kind of income because he doesn't deserve that. His mother doesn't deserve that money. If anything, it should go to you and the victims of the parade. So, but as far as child support. I don't want to go to me. I want to go to them. But he has okay. two rap names on YouTube, uh, Mask Way Fly and Young Glass. With I the saw last, that. It's not an S. Yes, I saw so, another one. I, too. Have, I think I saw. I think he, I think before all that he went by J Fly or something like that. Did yeah, you? Jay do you know? Yeah. J Fly was. Yeah, yep. I saw that. I and, and I my yep. my. Now that we're talking about it, um, maybe you could clear the air. Did he change J Fly to Math Boy Math Boy Fly because of the whole court pedophile stuff that was going on? I don't know why he changed it, but I know he did change it. It probably was because of that. Just like he lied with the video saying he was pimping me out with his lying ass. Yeah, he probably did because of that. Try to clear his name. Yeah, please, when and I was doing my research. Math, go, I'm sorry, go ahead. The mask boy fly also. I have, I'm going to send you this, uh, it's an app called, hold up, hold up. It's cutting out because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you the app. It's called, shit, is it on my phone? It's called DAT. P I S S, and if you type one of them names and I forgot which name it is, probably Math Boy Fly on there. All his fucking music is on there. Hold on, I'm gonna click back on this. On. I, I I put a link in the description of the last video that brings them to a page that has all of his content for those that want to watch. I, we're probably on the same page. I think yeah. I already have it. Um, yeah, yeah, so, but, uh, that, but I saw I saw that he had a lot of followers on there. Even before and after he went to jail, which is crazy, which I thought was just sick they in the head. Made, they made a video. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see the link of this, this. They made a video. One of his little young ass friends made a video about me when he first got arrested, saying I'm a snitch ass bitch and I wasn't even there. Like, what do you mean I was there? Like, I gotta see that link too. See, I just gotta... you know what we can do too is if you have, if you know their names and they threaten you or they I try don't to... know the names. I just know. I just know the. YouTube video. I well, either way, I can. I, I all I need is that. All I need is that. I can. I can dissect it and strip it down. I'll find out who they are and I'll do a background check on them just in case. Yeah, I'm. A, oh, sorry, I just clicked it off. I was trying to find it, but I'm way too got to you. But yeah, I'm gonna send you that. I'm gonna send you the pictures of my CNA certificate, all that stuff. I'm gonna send you the picture of my um hospital thing. I was trying to look for that earlier. Actually, me and Corey was before, but I have to go on the line. On Freda Hospital, 
But um, I got my proof on everything. Well, Darryl, I was just he gonna... out here thinking he's a celebrity. He ain't. I, and, and that's what I was asking because I got some threats or in one of the earlier videos when I showed the rap music, uh, Daryl's crap or whatever. Uh, somebody was actually trolling that it was actually a friend of his and exposed himself in his little emotional rant with me back and forth. And I was able to pull out information from him and him representing Waukesha or whatever that fucking city name is. And I apologize to the citizens. I'm not from there. I don't. Huh? Well, uh, uh, the dude got on there. He, the dude got on there and actually used his government name on his on his YouTube page claiming that he went to high school or that he knew Daryl personally. And he was getting in my ass about the video because talking about, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. So I, I, I ignored that one. I kind of set it aside. And then I got an email from him where he was trying to actually be cool. And he was like, yo, you need to look at the background. And he kind of gave me the heads up as far as Daryl Sr. in the nugget. So I, I, in the email, I was polite. I was like, thanks for the information. Good looking out, blah, blah, blah. I go back to the video and, and I, when I replied to the email, it was like hours later. So I guess I didn't reply fast enough. And so he got onto the video and started trolling and talking shit. So after I responded on the video, I, or after I responded on the email, I go back to the video and this clown is like threatening me on, on open forum on YouTube. And YouTube is not like, what? like blocking it yet, but he's not using, he's misspelling words. So I don't think the filter caught it. But he's street slanging in auto text basically to me on YouTube in the open chat. So um, we went back and forth like seven, nine threads. And uh, basically at the end, I was able to find out that his name was like uh, Eric X Shapiro or some bullshit. And uh, he didn't have he had like a he didn't even have a criminal record. He had like traffic violations. But his father. What did he look like? That's probably the first thing he was buying ecstasy pills from. What did he look like? Was he like skinny? A young I, didn't get, I didn't even go that far to research. I didn't even want to pull it up. Oh. Basically, what I did. I don't know is, his friend's name, but. Well, basically, what I did is I went back on the chat and, and I doxed him with his last known address, not his current address, but his last known address. And I put not the house number, but I put the street and the apartment what? and all that that he lived at. And he was like, Yeah, I represent that zip code. Yeah, so he was like, I represent that zip code, whatever, whatever. And I was like, in the next thread, I was like, okay, uh, uh, Eric X Shapiro, birth date, blah, 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 blah. And then all of a sudden, he disconnected everything. He, 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 you know how you can ghost yourself off the comments and it looks yeah. like you're talking to yourself? Yeah. So when you go on there, it's That's pinned on one of the videos. When it's pinned on one of the videos. Okay. When you go up there, it, it, you'll see where he initiated the question talking shit to me. And then you can see like seven, nine of my threads looks like I'm talking to myself, but I'm talking to him. And the last one, I'm like, where did you go? You know what I mean? After I exposed his address and his birthday, he was like, where? I was like, where did you go? And he just disappeared. I haven't heard nothing since. But he was like trying to threaten me about uh, coming to Arizona and, and you know, and, and, and you know, and, and, and putting hands on me and all that Arizona. shit. I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. I was like, I wish you would. I've been out here since I was out of high school. Oh, you don't know what circle I got out here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying uh, I'm not saying I'm Larry Hoover, but you don't know who I know out here. You coming out here to somebody else's backyard talking all that shit. You're gonna go back. You're gonna go back, not the same way you came. No, I, I was dead. I was like the nerve of him. I was like, and if you were as tough as Daryl is. You know, I'm going to let my son whip your fucking ass. I'm not even going to have to touch you. My son will fuck you up. <laughs> Dude, God, this little boy, you see, he, he think he just tough. Yeah, you tough, all right. You, your ass getting 859 years, but you ain't never getting up. You got your little can't friend. Bust a grape. For you. Can't bust a grape <laughs> in a fruit, fruit fight. I know. And what cracked me up is that I heard, I heard what happened with Nick. No, Juice, you're good. My son just came out. He was like, who we got to fuck up? <laughs> no, you're good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <See you already. laughs> I told you, boy, you just don't know who I know. You you just never know who is who, boy. So, but as far as um, as far as th that happened, I, I just wanted to bring that up that that happened. So, um, and that was one of the reasons I was concerned about you staying in Wisconsin is because I know he's got a clown crew no, out there. I'm trying to get the fuck out of here. I'm trying to get the fuck out of here because you know what? I don't know who Daryl know. He might set me up, and I don't know who his friends is. Like I said, I don't know. Well, when we who were talking know? about setting up the GoFundMe, 
Well, that's why we were talking about setting you up for success because we didn't want to show the world that we were just dumping money on you to fix a problem. And then you get set up and get robbed or something like that. That was another concern that we had here at the channel. So, uh, or at the show. That's so, not to give it to me. You just set it up for me and you guys. And, and, and you know, a lot of it out when you, it. as you progress, as you, yeah, as you mature. But as far as um, there, um, did you talk to Mariah about waiting? If you're trying to get to Georgia, Mariah wanted me to tell you that there are there are ways to get there. So let me hold on. Let me bring up her thread because uh, yes, I, I told Mariah I didn't have because I don't have my ID. I did tell Mariah that yesterday. I was, oh, actually this morning I was talking to Mariah early, early, early this morning. So yeah, me too. Um, she, her, actually, after I got off yeah. the phone with you, <laughs> while while I was talking to you. She messaged me like, have you talked to Erica yet? And I was like, no. And I was like, I'm talking to her right now. Or I said, yeah, I'm talking to her right now. So I had to wait till I was done talking to you and called her back or whatever. But um, she did send me some information regarding um, there are, um, and I, and again, I'm not trying to price you down on how much you got, you know, as far as donations, but if you can afford it, um, we did look up, there are uh, passes that you can buy like, you know, a couple weeks ahead. So it's cheap. But there are $39 flights to Atlanta, Georgia, that are or, or less Didn't that you can get. No like, ID. Well, we can do it online, and if you have your picture of your phone, your ID on your phone, like you said, you can use that because you're but you're going to be. I have to figure out where I'm going to go when I stay out there in Atlanta. Like I told you, I don't talk to my. And family. and that's what yeah, we and that's what me it. and that's what me and her were talking about earlier this morning. It's like. I, I didn't know, and I didn't want to expose your business. We, we can actually stop talking and go out off camera if you want. But I didn't know your situation if the family was keeping the kids safe from the media because you were trying to love them from a distance until you got this taken care of. It's just, you know what I mean? Because that's what it turned into. So or if you didn't get to go out there. there. I go out there. So I mean, let me ask you this. If, if, if you did want to go out there to do your recovery, and we were able to find, I don't want to put you in a shelter, but let's say we were able to find uh, an in-house rehab center for you to go to. Um, would you be amped to uh, take that investment and go to Georgia to get back with the kids and not necessarily go there to be drama, but to go there to let the family know that, yo, I'm not staying with you. I'm going to stay at this facility. Let me get better. Yeah. I, I just want to talk to the kids yeah. every other weekend until we can work something out or whatever. Yes, and you know what? I'm also gonna let, I'm gonna reach out to you too, so you can try to not you personally, because I'm like I don't want to put you in that position talking to my family, but they don't talk to me, and I'm just like I need somebody to at least reach out to them. You know, my kids they talk to me. Everyone they do they do talk to me, but I'm saying my cousins have them. You know, mm -hmm. well, but Jesse's they're safe. And they're they're safe and being nurtured. Heart. But they're they're safe yeah, and being nurtured. Being they're not yeah, with the state. Care of. Okay. No. And the only reason I'm emphasizing I, that, and this is for Don, because I know Don's going to watch this later. Don has been talking a whole bunch I of shit, and I just want to make sure they are. I'm going to show that bitch proof. Sorry. Are you <laughs> sorry. good? I'm You're sorry, good. Norman. I, Norman. You're good. I'm You're grown. Say what you want. You're grown. You're grown. If they demonetize it, I'm not worried. If they demonetize it, I'll just re-edit it and put it out again with the beeps in there. No worries. Ain't nobody finna stick up for her when she bailed him out after he ran somebody over the first time and kill people. She keep trying to make is she gone somewhere anyway. You would Erica, Sorry, you would you would think so, but in the comments, there are a bunch of bleeding hearts in there that are feeling for the mom because they're like, as a mother, a mother can never, and it's like, hold on, not all mothers are born of the same tree. What? They are. They're like, she's just doing what she would naturally do as a mother. I wouldn't expect her to do anything less for her son. It's like, hold on, wait. There's a difference between loving your kids and enabling your kids. There's a difference between being a parent and being their friend. And I'm not, and my kids will tell you right now, I'm not your fucking friend. I am your dad. So you need to make sure that when you come at me, you come at me every, I don't care how old you are, you come at me like you know better. Because hey, you talk to me no, like you talk to your friends in the street. You, I don't give a fuck if CPS no, man, shows up or not. Huh? My point. This is why I'm not looking at the fucking comments. This is why I refuse. I don't want to see no comments. Fair you enough. know what? I'm too emotional and I get depressed and I'm not dealing with that shit. But and, you know and, what? And, 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 it's not, and again, it's not 
the majority. It's just the one offs because I get triggered too, especially on your behalf because you know we're you know we're friends now. But when I see that, I have to take a step back and say, okay, is he talking about the video? Is he talking about Don? Is he talking about Erica? Is he talking about you know what I mean? So I have to really look at the post because people, when you when you look at a post on its own. It's sometimes it's hard to tell whether they're talking to Daryl in the video or they're talking to me about the content. You know what I mean? So sometimes I'll get triggered by something and then later on realize they were talking about Daryl. You know what I mean? They just weren't articulate in their in their short text. But um, with yours, just so you know, 95 percent of the comments are positive, especially since yesterday. Even when I was watching court TV, same thing. They were every time you were brought up, it was cool. I jumped into the chat on, on court TV this morning when I watched a little bit of the, the sentencing and I let everybody know I was in the chat and I didn't know I had fans that were in there and people were saying hi, but I let them know that we were going to talk later on after, you know, after the hearing or whatever um, to, to let them know to right. anticipate going onto the channel and hearing what you had to say. But you giving that this impact statement tomorrow and you're and if this is something that you want to do and are comfortable doing, girl, I got your back. Send me, send me how much it costs for the Uber, and I will cash out it to you. He's the thing. Your your picture froze. I what did you say? Huh? Your picture froze. I didn't hear PC? what you said. I can't see. You. I, no, I, 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 said, I can see you, but you're you're a still frame. You're not moving around. Sorry. Uh. There you go. So let's let's go ahead and um, um, is there anything else that you wanted to bring to light as far as uh, Derek's or I'm sorry, I keep calling him Derek Daryl's Daryl's trial. All right, is no, there anything? I'm finished. It, 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 so as far let's just do this then. As far as a private message, because we obviously are going to be worldwide. Um, did you want to give a direct message to the, your brother or your cousins as far as what's going on and what your plans are? Because you can't talk to them directly. They don't, they don't, they don't talk to me. But my brother, if you go on my Facebook, his, uh, JJ, I'll see his thing. He don't talk no, to you me. Don't, you don't, to what I'm saying is there is there something that you want to say to him now if he watches this video? No, because he won't talk to me. He's sick. He's nothing. on Daryl's side. He's sick. He said that I made Daryl go crazy. He sticks up with it, though. Is there anything that you want to say to your cousins back home? No worries. So as far as anything else, I don't have any more questions as of right now. I know later on after we get off, we're going to be like, oh, we should have talked about this. We should have did this. But with that being said right now, I'm going to wrap it up because it's 1 o'clock here in Arizona, and I have not even eaten breakfast yet. I just... Started watching the, the sentencing. Yeah, breakfast. No, I started watching. Well, you woke me up, and I, when my, you know, when you, when you, when you messaged me, and you know, and, and we got a hold of you, you woke me up. Basically, I checked, the, you know, checked that I missed your your message, and then we got in a conversation, and then I started going into because that's about right when the, you know, the trial started. So I got engulfed in it, and then you called me back, and we're like, "Do you just want to podcast now?" Because I don't, you know what I mean. I don't want to watch the, the end of this shit right now because it's. Yeah, so we were basically on the same page, but as far as um, uh, you, know, day, you know, you can write me all day because you know I'm always answering. You're like my big brother. I got you. I'm gonna no watch worries. the rest of this trial shit and see. Probably pissed off the rest of the day. It's snowing and shit, but anyways. So uh, what, what we'll do? What we'll do? And because I don't want to keep, I don't want to play you out. You know, as far as being on, because I'm not the, I'm not the best podcaster. I admit, you know, I, I still, I'm still learning. I'm more, I'm a better editor and researcher than I am an interviewer. I, I I'll admit that. But as far as, 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 as <laughs> but as far as moving forward, um, if we do meet up again, I would like to wait until we had the video when Daryl. Speak well. What 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 I wanted to do was two things. I wanted to put together a collage of his court videos of him acting a fool, so we can laugh at him, and you can get and we can get let you talk shit, and everybody can joke yeah. around in the comments. And but I want to do it after Hello. the solemnness hey. of this. Yeah, I want to do it after the nineteenth or whenever this is over. With you know, as far as the impact statements, but I also wanted to get yeah. you on so we can do like a rewatch of the trial. So that way you can interject mm -hmm. in there and explain 
what you saw or whatever. And I think the audience would love that. And for those late to the game that didn't get to see the whole mm -hmm. trial because of life or whatever, this will give them the chance to not only yeah. rewatch the trial, but also have the pleasure of you being there as a narrator, you know, a narrative to what happened. Yes. Yeah. No worries. I, and again, I'm, I'm just bringing it up because I know this is a, this is a dominating issue in your life and it's going to be hard to move past, even though that's what our goal is. It's still going to be there, but what I want to teach you to do is I'm not still... run from, not run from it, but wear it as a badge of honor. That's that's where I want to get True. you. Because uh, like I'm me, I'm going to think about what I want to say tomorrow, and if I will actually probably send you uh, what I write down to to prove it and see if it it sounds okay. Because me, I really don't want to flash on him tomorrow and jump over that counter and hurt this boy. I would recommend it. I doubt they would put you in jail, but they would definitely put you in the other timeout room that they put him in. So I, I, I mean, I, I, I got that. some words to say. To, I got some shit to say to his ass. I, and so you know what? I, I wouldn't be able. On that. If if they put you in another courtroom on a televised television, you start bringing up objection signs and stuff. I'm gonna start laughing. <laughs> objection. Objection. Ground. Ground. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you say? What, you, what was the other one he liked to use? Uh, um, grounds no. of jurisdiction. Oh no, his name's not Daryl either. His name's not Daryl. I don't know oh, yeah. about it. Whatever the fuck you were saying. I'm a southern guess, citizen. Shut I your ass for, up. I, I guess for he's like Prince now. We're just when we, we want his attention, we just like flash a sign and for his name or something. <laughs> <laughs> I can't yeah, do what you. I'm not doing with you right now. I'm not doing with you. Anyways, so, honey, hey, you enjoy your day. You eat your breakfast and spend uh, time with your babies. And you know, well, whenever you text me, write me. I will write back. All right, awesome sauce. Well, I'm gonna let you go so we don't wear wear out our our time here. Uh, stay safe, listen. All right, honey, have a good day. All right, then. Peace. <laughs> Bye. So. Everybody listening in on the podcast, I thank you very much for showing up. I thank you again for the the retake. I hope this version was a lot better as far as the you know the comments I saw because I know a lot of people were like, "Dude, this was uh, uh, hard to watch or whatever" because we were all over the map. Just so you know, me and Erica talked before the podcast yesterday. It was last minute, and we were excited that we finally got to connect, and we just decided to go live with no plan, and so. Basically, yesterday, you got us doing a back and forth and including you in the conversation. Um, today, this video was basically for you guys. So with that being said, it's your boy, Norm. I'll see you in another video.